Hello my friends, my name is Anton and this video is about 5 new features in Kotlin Coroutines 1.6. And here is a quick summary of this release. Kotlin X Coroutines test with the new API and multi-platform support introduces a common solution for writing portable tests with suspending functions. We start to support the new Kotlin Native Memory Manager and it makes multi-threaded coroutines for a Kotlin Native available out of the box. The new Dispatcher Views API allows limiting the parallel execution without creating additional threads and provides the unified way to create dispatchers. The new copyable thread context element enables safe write access to thread local variables for coroutines. And the coroutines library is now compiling against the Java 8 target. Previously, the experimental run blocking test function was available for writing tests with suspending functions. However, we discovered a few inconsistencies in the design and decided to deprecate this function. In the documentation, you will find the explanation that there is a new function that should be used instead and the link to the migration guide. The new run test function will automatically skip the calls to the delay function and handle the uncalled exceptions. Unlike run blocking test, it will also wait for asynchronous callbacks to handle the situations where some code runs in the dispatchers that are not integrated with the test module. Note that this function can only be called once per test. If you need to call the function twice in a test, please let us know about your use case, why you need it. You can find the detailed description of the API for the test module in the corresponding readme file. To adopt the existing test code to the new API, please follow the migration guide and you can find it in the documentation as well. Since Scotland 1.3.2, we started publishing an experimental companion library version within the regular Kotlin native memory model. This is published with the native MT suffix in the name of the artifact version. This implementation was rather limited in the regards of uh, multi-threading and is known to leak memory under the load. The GitHub issue about supporting multi-threaded coroutines for Kotlin native has received a high number of uploads recently. And in Kotlin 1.6, we announced availability of the new experimental Kotlin native memory manager, which makes it possible to overcome the limitations of the existing implementation. For this release, we implemented the support for the new memory manager and merged the implementation into the mainline. This means that you only need the 1.6 version of Kotlin Coroutines to try the experimental Kotlin native multi-threading with the new memory model. Since the old uh, native MT implementation still suffers from the memory leaks in some concurrent execution scenarios, that are hard to address, we are going to decommission it starting with Coroutines 1.7. For 1.6 releases, the artifacts will still be published, so you have time to migrate to the new memory manager uh, by following the migration guide. Let's talk about the new API for dispatchers. You might need to control the concurrency in uh, Coroutine code, and for instance, you might want to limit the number of concurrent requests to the database. A popular solution for this is to define a custom coroutine dispatcher with the new fixed thread pool context function and then use it on every database invocation. Unfortunately, there are several problems with this approach. The new fixed thread pool context function can potentially create many unnecessary threads uh, most of which will be idle and consuming memory, CPU time, and, and device battery. And every with context function invocation performs an actual switch to the different thread, which is rather expensive. And the result of the new fixed thread pool context needs to be closed explicitly when no longer used. In 1.6, we are introducing the new dispatcher views API as an option to limit concurrency without creating the additional threads and allocating extra resources. To start using dispatcher views, just call coroutine dispatcher limited parallelism uh, instead of the new fixed thread pool context function. And the new approach addresses the limitations of using custom thread pools. A dispatcher view is only a wrapper 
to the original dispatcher, which directly limits the uh, parallelism for submitted coroutines using the resources of the original dispatcher, and it doesn't create new threads. The with context function won't perform a switch to a different thread. A view does not need to be closed. And to create separate executors, you can take multiple views of the same dispatcher and they will share threads and resources. The implementation of limited parallelism function for dispatchers.io is made elastic, meaning dispatchers.io itself still has the limit of 64 threads, but each of its views will have the effective parallelism of the requested value. For example, during peak loads, the system may have up to 64 plus 100 plus 60 threads dedicated to the blocking tasks. In steady state, there will be only a small number of threads shared among dispatchers.io, MySQL DB Dispatcher and my MongoDB Dispatcher. In Java, we are using thread local variables to maintain some value related to the current thread. In coroutines, you can do the same with thread context element. However, since thread context element is part of coroutine context, it gets inherited by child coroutines, which can execute concurrently. This can be a problem if the underlying value is not thread safe and gets concurrently mutated. For example, when implementing logging contexts or tracing frameworks. To resolve the issue, we created the new copyable thread context element interface, which defines an extra copy child coroutine function. During child coroutine launch time, the method will be called on the parent thread context element instance to obtain the new one for the child coroutines context. This way, every coroutine will have its own element copy that can mutate guaranteeing thread safety for the underlying value. Support for Java 6 target creates a lot of maintenance burden and blocks potential useful features from Java 8. Kotlin already performed the migration in 1.5 release and aligning with the language, Kotlin Coroutines 1.6 also starts the migration process by compiling against the Java 8 target. The new version of Coroutines is available from Maven Central. You can try it now in your project. Here is an example of Gradle configuration. Make sure you are using Kotlin 1.6 and then just add the dependency to the new version of Coroutines. That's it folks, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow the updates and have a nice Kotlin!